Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Raina Wells. I am a medicine woman and highly intuitive and I'm here to do your Equinox reading. We're going to do the interconnection spread. So if you guys are new here, uh, it's a treat. You won't find it anywhere else. It's a very old uh, gypsy uh, spread that was passed down to me when I was a kid. And we're going to see where what's happening with your connection based on your intuition. That's why I decided to do pick a card. And I want you to just relax into this, close your eyes, and just go by your first gut instinct. Try to feel the energy in your heart and then pull the energy down into your gut, into your pelvic region. And whatever sits in your pelvic region is going to be the car, the deck for you. Sometimes the mind likes to trick us and pull us into a different place. But if you just go by that first gut instinct, it is always right. Okay, guys? So this is going to be for the equinox. It can be timeless whenever you come across this reading. Um, this is why I've set up my beautiful spring uh, table. So I hope you guys like and enjoy um we're gonna get started we have the gaia dreams tarot or dreams by gaia tarot here which is group number one which is this beautiful amethyst okay you guys can take a look at that it's an amethyst point it is in its raw form it hasn't been tumbled i don't believe me maybe a little bit polished but i prefer raw over polished but either way that's group number one. The second group, we have the uh, Rider Way with this Ganesh, was given to me by a Hindu priest when I was in Bali. Beautiful shaman that gave that to me. Taught me a lot about energy as well. One of my guides and teachers, so I've placed that there. This is my deck, the Cosmic Tarot, which I have created. So. I put the gnome on there for springtime because I love gnomes and fairies and all of that. And the last one is the shaman tarot with the ayahuasca necklace. This is the actual plant of ayahuasca and uh, it's been put into a necklace. It's got a third eye on there and that is number four. So just, you may want to pause the video, take a deep breath. You guys know how it works and I'm going to intuitively pick different cards for each group so each reading will be different. If you are pulled to more than one make sure that you watch that as well. If you're watching um, you are watching obviously for a person so make sure that when you do look at the pile look at it from three different perspectives. Your perspective, your person's perspective and the perspective of the connection itself. Okay guys we're going to get started and yeah let's get started. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you pick this amethyst point, I had started to record and it didn't record, so there was a reason for that. So we'll see if the what energies come through, uh, if they come through the same. So it was a very potent reading. Um, so we'll see if the same synchronies come through. So I've already taken the masculine and the feminine. We're going to be doing an interconnection spread and we're going to be clarifying it. <coughs> and we're going to be focusing, if karmic energies do come up, we're going to see what comes up. But I'm not going to actually see what's happening with karmic energies today. We're going to be seeing what equinox energies are bringing or working for this connection right now and what new vibrations are coming in in regards to your connection okay so that's what we're going to be focusing on i'm also going to be shuffling a little bit different today because spirit i if you guys are new to my channel um i'm highly psychic and intuitive and i have all every single one of the psychic gifts so i go by spirit i've been living inside out my entire life so i go by where god leads me and so today we are going to be shuffling a little bit different i'm going to be taking from the bottom and from the top and not taking flyaways until we clarify okay so let's see the overall energies what's happening between a divine masculine and divine feminine we have destiny wow okay so this is very much the same energy that came through in the one that i didn't record this masculine we have the king of earth okay we have integrity in reverse and we have the seven of wands okay so between divine feminine and divine masculine right now what's happening in their energies they both know that this is a destined connection that spirit is bringing this forward 
Okay, and um, we're going to read it this way first. That's why Spirit had me do this over again. There's a stability coming here. Um, both have been closed off before to this connection, but that's because they've been trying to come into alignment for this destination, okay? What happens here with that with the Four of Pentacles is also an alignment of the head and the heart, okay? So Spirit is really trying to get both parties in a way of um, becoming aligned for this. This masculine is becoming aligned for this Ace of um, Cups. Yeah. And this is a dragon. Whew, dragon are magical creatures, okay? So this masculine wants to ground this energy, wants to bring in this energy. There hasn't been integrity here in this connection and dishonesty, and that's why it caused a lot of drama in both parties' lives. And even while the separation spirit is telling me is happening, the reason it's caused so much drama in both parties' lives is because there was a lack of, an, of authenticity. Integrity is a very deep place within your gut. <clears throat> it's when we move out of mind and heart duality and we really follow a deep and in, in integrated part of ourself in our pelvic region where we know it's God's truth. We know it's a deep knowing that we can't lie to ourselves anymore. And some people do choose. Like, it's like, you know, you're stealing something, for instance, you know, when you're a kid and you just don't want to confess up to it. So you make excuses. People still live that way. This and this was the childish energy energy that was running between this connection. But both are realizing the drama that it caused. OK, we're going to put these bottom ones into a new spread. This is seven of wands here. <clears throat> so that means about persevering and being very defensive about what these people think about this connection and the knowledge that they've gained. If you notice, there's two faces here. Both were wearing masks at a time, Spirit is saying. But those masks were, uh, and this is water and fire energy, so that could be prominent in your chart. But nonetheless, this is a magical connection. I'm being drawn to the pentagram that's there. This is about alchemy. And both parties have now looked into this Akashic Records. The Akashic Records have been opened up in your connection and they're downloading, okay? So you are being star-led here. You're being led by a higher force. And this knowledge, both of you are defending what you know. People are, uh, I feel mostly in masculine's life. Feminine's already done a lot of this work and saying, I don't care what people think, I'm gonna do it. But this masculine is really learning to defend his visions, defend his knowing, defend um, everything that he's feeling in this connection. And divine feminine is too, in the masculine sense, in regards to um, <clears throat> either not quite talking to it with other people, not sharing what's going on with other people, keeping it to herself, being very, um, yeah, very aware of the energy. So let's do the spread and let's see what comes up for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine here. We're gonna move these over here as the overall energies so you guys can see them. I'm just gonna move them like this so you guys can see them over here. And we're going to do the spread. We put the Feminine, Masculine is underneath. And we do another spread. Now this spread is going to show us, oh, I have to make sure they're all upright for this spread just so we know the direction. They, I read it in all ways, but we have to make sure that they're up right yet. Um, and this spread is going to show interconnectively where the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine currently are in their connection and how they're um, working with each other in the energy. So if you are liking this read so far, you guys, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. It really helps my channel to grow. All right, and if you want to know more about me, all that info is down below. I have lots of blogs and stuff like that, so go check out my website. I I think I can do a spread with this because I was able to flip it in the last reading, but the energy is very similar, but Spirit um, wanted to fine-tune me in regards to how I was reading it there, so that's why. So they're very similar because that Destiny card came out before too, so... <clears throat> So yeah, let's take a look here. What is going on in group number one, Spirit? Okay, so the middle of this energy is the thoughts of this love. So both parties are very much thinking about this love. If you look, I'm going to grab my little 
swordy thing here so you guys can see it's easier if you guys see this is the ace of cups here okay and so this connection both parties are very much thinking about this love they can't stop thinking about it maybe feel a little obsessive but this masculine is thinking about it more than the feminine okay and how he has been closed off and how he's now coming into alignment of this love this feminine has been holding the energy of this new vibration of love and she has been really um trying to move towards this love in her life now because she's been activated here spirit is saying in this heart space um Sorry, guys, I'm just going to fix this to make them look really pretty. Um, Spirit is saying because this feminine has been moving here in this heart space, it has activated the uh, subconscious thoughts to rise up from the mat for the masculine. It's really aiding him in seeing where his selfish desires were in his life. Where I, this gateway hasn't opened with other people, Okay. It's showing him where to leverage up. <clears throat> and this feminine on the outskirts. So they're both. Spirit is really bringing through to notice the manifestations. These both are noticing how actually powerful they really are in this connection. And the reason for that is because the center of the read are the thoughts and the emotions. When your mind, which is the masculine energy of the genius thoughts, is aligned to the sacred heart of the feminine, they manifest like hell, water, or fire. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like this, it's like fire and water and just an amount of abundance that you just can't get with anything else. And so it creates steam, right? And so if you do have fire and water in your chart, that may be prominent. But it doesn't have to be. And so what Spirit is saying, the genius aspect of the masculine's intelligence, this is a very masculine, this is a very feminine, okay? You're not going to have one or the other here is what I'm picking up. The This is like the epitome, Spirit is saying, of like Gaia, of Mother Earth, and the father energy of creator force energy to build temples and things like that. So this energy is running the show here, and it's bringing the two together. The sacred heart of the feminine is helping her to move forward in her life in new directions in this really beautiful new vibration of love, and it's showing the masculine where the thoughts have been stifled in the past, okay? On the outskirts of the energy, what I'm seeing, divine feminine here, where she's been closed off in the heart. So that four of pentacles is showing her to come into deeper places of forgiveness, to come into a deeper place of knowing within herself. And this masculine energy is showing him <clears throat> where he hasn't been giving to himself. Now look at how they are lined up here. This masculine's head crown chakra is being grounded by feminine's feet. Her, she's in the upside down kind of position. Her feet are on this here, right? And so they're definitely connected. His chakra is getting aligned by the more that she grounds into the earth, the more she comes into feminine energy. Remember, feminine energy is grounding, okay? Yes, they work in 5D and up, but they're able to come to the 3D and plant those, those seeds. Now, those seeds get planted, the masculine takes the root and feels the nurturing of the seeds that the feminine is planting and then comes in and breaks open the shell and creates the, the seed. The seed is planting, creates the manifestation. So this masculine is feeling that from the feminine. The feminine is feeling the masculine. And this is all because of the energy that they're working with in the center of the reed, okay? So let's take a look, and this is what the equinox is bringing through, which is really beautiful energy for springtime. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the center of the reed spirit. What is going on with this thought for the masculine? The masculine energy is really aligned to his thoughts right now. Look at this, the hermit and the lovers in reverse. So this masculine energy, when it comes to his thoughts, he's thinking about the ending a lot. He's had to go within and what has happened. He's coming to an awareness about that right now, about this queen of pentacles. Beautiful. We have a match here, king of pentacles here, wanting to ground this energy, destiny calling where there may not have been authenticity before, right? He's gained clarity now about divine feminine. Let's clarify this integrity in reverse. Yeah realizing neither one of them really wants to end this okay so it's been a delay and maybe an actual ending this may have been a ghosting situation it may have been um things were just kind of left up in the air and not really and like didn't really end uh there's no closure here obviously so spirit is saying this integrity here 
caused um, both parties, the seven of wands, we have it twice, to persevere to get to the top of the mountain. You know, that climb to the mount the top of the mountain is hard. It's a lonely journey. <clears throat> Spirit is bringing up this twice with the seven of wands is because sometimes you have to like end cycles that hurt other people or end things that you feel a bit of a ass for doing. But Spirit is like, it has to happen. We have a lot of sevens here. Spiritual numbers coming through, guys. Seven, seven, seven are very holy numbers for the uh, of creation. The world was created in seven days, right? So we rest on the on the seventh day. And it's funny, today is Sunday. And so Spirit is really saying with this equinox, we're having a lot of magic, a lot of luck, that where there have been delays, um, neither one of them wanting to end, both parties are opening up here. We have four pentacles in reverse. We have two fours here. Okay, so you guys see that? We have king and queen came out, synchronicity. We have three sevens that have come out, synchronicity. We now have two fours. This is why you guys got to subscribe and like. Like, this this stuff, This is my life. Magic happens in my life. It's crazy. Um, the synchronicities are off the hook. So, like, here, it's like this is opened up now. This energy is opening up to seeing why, you know, I don't want this end because this energy is very potent. King of Swords has gained a lot of clarity. And when the King of Swords show up, his mind and his heart is aligned. He's a lot nicer than the Queen of Swords, right? <clears throat> he is aligned to his heart and his mind. And if you see this, <clears throat> there's a line here traveling from his mind right down his throat to his heart. Okay, so it's an alignment. This masculine has gained awareness about this connection here, okay? Definitely. And where he's been suppressing the truth, the Ace of Swords in reverse, can't make that up. So let's see, how does this masculine feel towards the Divine Feminine in this spread here? Yeah, this is a Queen of Swords in reverse. So he's blocked out a karmic partner, may have been in a karmic situation. That's over with, okay? Um, Page of Pentacles, he's rejected a karmic partner because he's Eight of Wands quickly moving towards the Divine Feminine. Look at that. Queen of Swords in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse, rejection of an offer, and moving towards Divine Feminine. That's what he wants. He is moving towards Divine Feminine, guys. He's getting clarity. Divine Feminine. That is beautiful. I was going to clarify, but Spirit wants me to take me down to the masculine energy with this wanting to wanting to um, move on to calmer waters here with Divine Feminine. He's creating peace in his life right now. So he's really Eight of Cups in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, so ending conflict because he wants to return to the past. He can't fully walk away from this Divine Feminine. That's why death is in reverse. There's no, There was no ending. Okay, there wasn't he doesn't want this to end. And I, I feel Maslin's really coming through strongly here with that thought. This is what he's been thinking. Let's look at Divine Feminine. To Divine Feminine towards the masculine right now, Spirit. Ah, the High Priestess in reverse, okay? So this feminine, it's been completely revealed to her. She knows this is her person. She's holding that new vibration of love. She's not letting it go. She knows that she is the truth. We have the Three of Cups. She wants a reunion. She wants to start with his friends. She wants to celebrate with her masculine. What else towards the masculine? She's she's in a very open, recept <clears throat> receptive place with for the King of Cups. Look at this. She's open and receptive to this masculine. This High Priestess in reverse. She's willing to take down her guard for him, you know? And this masculine feels that. So let's see where her heart is supporting in the center of the read here. And supporting the thoughts of the masculine. How is this love that the feminine is holding supporting the masculine and this union? Five of Pentacles. She's she's loving the abandonment stuff, you know. She's taking care of herself and the Knight of Pentacles and moving through her own abandonment issues. And that is what's leveraging to clarify divine masculine and how that's affecting masculine here. Yeah, and it's helping masculine four of swords to heal. His family issues, Ten of Pentacles, and a toxic commitment, a toxic family pattern is more or less what I'm getting. If he wasn't a commitment, let's clarify that. Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit. 
Yeah, where things weren't renewing, judgment in reverse, where there was a lot of doubt, depression, sun in reverse, seven of pentacles. Wow. Investing in things that no longer matter anymore, family patterns, an, an old commitment, the marriage that may have been toxic, a four of swords separation that created separation between divine feminine and divine masculine, brought a lot of doubt in his life, brought a lot of depression. It's complacency too, because the sun in reverse is not quite depression, but it's not happy either. You know, it's like, nah, that's okay. And where he's been investing and waiting for has caused him to not um, rise into the divine masculine, okay? So this, this masculine is very aware of what has happened here in this situation and, and, and has woken up, okay? Group number one, there really is a leveraging up of what has happened in this connection. Any final messages here, Spirit? We're going to do some um, messages with my deck as well and see what messages we get. We have nine of pentacles in the challenge position. Okay, it came out sideways. So that means that this is what's happening right now for final messages is both parties are still fine in that place between codependency and complete um, interdependence. So you're in the in the halfway point. Spirit is bringing these final, uh, the equinox is bringing in some beautiful energies to bring you both into that final last bit of healing here, okay? We have Hierophant in reverse, things that you haven't learned in the in the recent past. Four of Wands in reverse, wow. We have Four of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So things have ended. Spirit is ending this challenge, okay, about being interdependent here for this energy. It's a challenge for both. Spirit is saying they're ending relationships, they're ending commitments and marriages, they're breaking down foundations of home life, marriage life, so that this interdependence can come full circle. It's still here. So that's the energy that is happening here. Um, Spirit also wants me to pull. Yeah, okay. They're going to pull some Kipper and then we're going to pull some message cards. What other messages do you have for this union energy spirit? So it looks like you guys are allowing that center energy, those the energy of the masculine, the thoughts and the and the holding of that vibration of feminine is really beautiful. It's really shifting things, group one. So you just keep doing that. That equal this equinox energy is breaking old things down, old karmic ways down. Okay. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because I will be doing weekly energy updates tomorrow, which we go into karmic energies, and there it's like a good hour, hour and a half read every week. So make sure you hit that notification button too, so you don't miss out so let's see what else spirit what other messages do you have here for pile number one in regards to divine masculine divine feminine with this equinox energy and what is coming up for group number one <clears throat> just two yeah Wow. There are higher end decisions being made of where people are trapped, imprisonment. So let's clarify that. So what I'm getting there is like, that's that karmic energy. That's that interdependence that's trying to level up now, right? So wherever you've been trapped in your life, this is about freedom, right? And making those higher end choices, no matter what, to move towards this destined call. Both of you know it's destined. Both of you are working on it. So that's, there's no problem there. So it's just a, it's just a clearing of energies and I've been seeing that a lot they're not giving me any more messages there guys let's do some let's do some uh other messages here for you guys this is my own deck called the mirrored messages deck so they're not for sale yet I'm still working on it um but they will be we're gonna see what's going on in this connection here what messages spirit do you have for pile number one please what messages do you have for pile number one, please, Spirit? And that will be your reading. Don't forget to like this video, guys. But it's beautiful. You guys are in sync with each other. It's happening. Just keep holding that vibe. It's, things are shifting. Things are clearing and breaking down karmic energies. It's really beautiful. What is going on with pile number one, please, Spirit? What messages would you like to say? We're going to... These are a little different than anything you've seen, too. I have them... Um, oh, masculine wants to talk. got three so 
We've got masculine wanting to talk a lot more than the feminine. So here, the feminine to the masculine. And then I'm going to flip them and, and read them because the back is the response to the front. So feminine to the masculine. I am focused on mission work and following the path spirit is, is laying out for me. I am courageously stepping into the calling. I am noticing how much I am healing doing mission work. So this is beautiful. And if you guys aren't really on mission per se, but it's your mission to heal and you're doing your work, this, this is an acknowledgement that your masculine is feeling this. Your masculine's response to that is saying, please trust that I'm making a plan and I will be coming home to you. Do your work and I will do mine. God is great. We will meet again. Have faith. Wow, so beautiful. Masculine energy to the feminine. Honey, we both have control issues. We mirror exactly. <laughs> and feminine to the is saying, oh, everything about this connection irritates me. So Spirit wants you to know that if you are feeling stressed, frustrated in this, just realize feminine. If you needed this as validation, your, your connection is being guided. It is destined. The, the love that you're holding, the work that you're doing is changing things, is breaking things down. The masculine knows where he has to break things down, okay? Masculine to the feminine. God did not let me get away for mistreating you. You see the karma? Trust me, every pain, every tear I cried, not because I was hurt, but because I was awakened to the pain I caused you and to our sacred union. Wow, so this masculine is coming home, guy. He is completely aware of what he did. And the feminine, your rejection showed me where I have been rejecting myself. I have been seeking approval in others for so long. Wow. And did you see that like, that was the center of the read of the abandonment that she's been persevering and working through that? Go back and watch that, guys. Really beautiful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to work with me. All that info is down below. You can email me if you have any questions. And I'm sending so much love. Bye, guys. Hello, my beautiful group number two. This is your reading and we're going to be doing the interconnection spread. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, um, please hit that like and subscribe. This is um, one of the spreads that I learned when I was a kid and you pick this beautiful Ganesh. Uh, it's like a candle topper, but it's so beautiful. It was given to me by this amazing man that I met in Bali. So we'll put that here. So we're going to take a look at the energies uh, in the interconnection spread, and then we're going to get some messages from my mirror deck. And this is timeless, so if you guys even see this whenever uh, it's meant for you, these are the energies that the spring equinox of 2021 is bringing through. It's our first one in Age of Aquarius, so it's very potent energy. So it's another reason why I wanted to do this. I'm going to be shuffling a little different today. We're going to be taking energies from the bottom and the top of the deck and then doing the interconnection spread. So let's take a look. Group number two. Spirit, what energies are coming with the spring equinox for twin flames and separation and soulmates for group number two spirit? All right. What I'm already intuitively picking up is like you guys are a hardworking group. Okay, and Spirit is recognizing your hard work is what Spirit is saying right now. And they know that you're like asking when, when, when. And Spirit is like, I know you don't want to hear patience, but I want to show you how things are starting to move. Even though you're not seeing anything in the 3D right now, there is something um, improving. And you are going to start seeing that very soon. You've got to let your defenses go down right now. Wow, we have seven of wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in Reverse, Seven of Swords, yeah. There's still like some betrayal that's happening maybe with some karmic energies. And Spirit is really asking to let that guard down, let the defenses go and break down that, that wall here about a marriage or a commitment that may be happening. I know you've been working really hard. You guys are in a surrender stage, Spirit is saying. And Spirit is saying this, this... This is also a planning coming together for a new beginning. So any deception, they're bringing up multiple for this, for this right here, okay? Spirit is saying, <clears throat> whatever has happened here, okay, um, with this um, connection, okay? If there was some deception, if there was anything like that, Spirit is really wanting to bring up, um, excuse me, I'm getting like a heart burning in my chest. Whew, because some of you, this is, was really heavy. And 
Spirit said it was part of the divine plan to bring about a new vibration. So this is why a lot of these defenses need to be let go. Group number two, Spirit is saying there's some potent times coming most for you by the summertime. You're going to really start seeing the change. They want you to hang in there a little bit more. Your faith is really being tested is what I'm getting. They want me to show you this. Faith keeps us strong. So they, they want you to build your faith up. Yeah, there's been fighting with karmic energies here. I wanted to pull this one because they were telling me this was for the Empress, the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> and they're saying this is for the masculine. So they this masculine may have broke a contract with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And this feminine has got to move towards this Nine of Cups to build her wishes in the material world and what's happening here. So... Spirit says it's about letting go of this defense here. Break down your walls about a marriage or a commitment that may have happened. Could be family patterns for some of it's, but it's the karmic energy, okay? And the nine of wands is about, you know, you are wounded. You can't persevere. So you feel, you see very clearly how this connection has taken you down. Um, <clears throat> but again, spirit wants you to realize it was part of the divine plan because when we are broke, our most broken, you guys, is when we become our most surrendered. When we are broken is when we ask, we get on our knees and pray, not for what we want or what is meant for us. We ask God for God's help. We ask for spirit's help. And so when that happens, it's like, that's why this had to happen. And we need to know all energies. We live in a very 3D dense world. So Spirit wants you to realize that you are gaining massive skills here, the viewer, okay? And and, they, and the, there's been a massive, <clears throat> they're saying this is not really fighting. This is more training, you know? They're, they're right, getting ready for battle, to finish the battle here. They're training because the Six of Wands, after the Five of Wands is the Six of Wands. And what is that? When you come back from battle and you become victorious. So they want you to realize that you're in the Five of Wands. So it's not fighting with each other. It's like training. This has been lessons. Bad. Yes, you have to fight in your training. Yes, you have to learn Taekwondo and all the moves. And all of the, you know what Spirit's saying? Um, to win the battle. You know, to win against the darkness. So Spirit is saying you will be victorious. That's the next step is the Six of Wands. Okay. So this is the overall energy. Um, sorry, this is, this is what's going, what's going in the spread here, spirit? Yeah, this is going in the spread. So, yeah, this is going in the spread. Thank you. <laughs> Just making sure, guys. I did the opposite for group number one, but I have to deal with what spirit guides me to. So, let's take a look here to make sure these are all upright. Yeah, they want this one. So, yeah, this is about letting down the barriers, down, letting all of this stuff go, even any kind of betrayal, and to start recognizing that it was meant to happen with this karmic energy. We're going to put these in a spread now, and we're going to take a look at the interconnection between the two. So Spirit is really bring up group two. You're a group of warriors. You're in training from very warrior status, you know, um, to move into the new earth and to build something new on the planet. And to raise the consciousness of the planet, this we're we're only going to get darker, you know. Look at this, this flipped up as I'm shuffling. So there is a new beginning. They really want to tell you to trust. There is a new beginning coming. Spirit has it. Okay, spirit is bringing you guys into alignment here. Let's take a look. The velvet is getting stuck in the cards. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just feeling your energy because I feel like there's frustration that this is ever going to happen as patience, like you've had patience and spirit wants you to know, yes, you've had patience. You have had a lot of patience here. Yes, divine feminine, you are in training. Look at this. Okay, that's the center of the read here. Your masculine's running in parallel. Your masculine's in training too, okay? So <clears throat> whatever you learn, your masculine learns immediately. You want a new beginning and you want this marriage and commitment. This masculine also wants this marriage and commitment. So there's massive training going on. If this masculine, we're going to clarify, if this masculine is in a commitment, he's, he's battling it. It's his lesson to move towards divine feminine. See how it's in sequential form here, that you are both upright. You're moving towards each other. This masculine is in step with you, coming towards you. This put you at a lot of crossroads and not being able to see clearly Divine Feminine, but Spirit really wants you to focus on this new beginning. It's at the top of your head, 
okay? So they want you to take a leap of faith into a brand new vibration and to move forward, number two, okay? Um, you've got to build this foundation within yourself and hold this vibration of marriage and unity and what that looks like to you. So they want you to get out of thinking about what's happened and start thinking about like, what would it be like with my mask on? What would mission, what would service look like if we were together? And to start feeling that out, you may want to look into scripting. Scripting is a way of, um, I do this because I've been in theater. You know, I love theater and acting and stuff like that. I'm very much artsy. So, uh, you know, I, I did acting as a, a younger, I've won theater awards and stuff like that. So it's like, you always have to script out your life with your divine masculine and feel that energy to bring that energy into your daily life, but not necessarily attached to the divine masculine, but attached to divine love. What would it feel like to be in your sacred partnership? That's to get you through this five of wands energy into a place of victory and success and to start looking at, you know, not just the romantic stuff. How would I, how would I heal with my mask in if we got into battles and arguments? How am I learning right now? How is this teaching me right now and how to end conflicts and this aspect in myself? Because when you do a divine feminine, divine masculine automatically does it. You can't, um, with true counterparts, they mirror exactly, not their pain, but their growth. And it's a healing vibration. So, <clears throat> Spirit of Prince wants, want, wants me to clarify the Seven of Swords with this Queen of Swords because this is the karmic energy and it's caused a lot of upheaval here for both of you, okay? Also for the masculine. Look, and the masculine comes up in a challenged position on top of the Queen of Swords. Synchronicities happen like this all the time in my channel, guys. So, make sure you subscribe if you like the magic because I, I, I work with alchemy very closely. Look at this king of swords coming out in the challenge position right here like this with this queen of swords this is his his karmic partner okay if it's not a third party that you're in you may want to pick another pile because this person is definitely in a karmic situation okay and um he's challenged because what is the seven of swords here spirit because <laughs> he doesn't want this nine of cups in reverse anymore it's not what he wants it's not his wish so he is planning, but also being deceptive. So this masculine has to also learn. There's something happening here, Divine Feminine. As you move into the Six of Wands, they keep bringing up the Six of Wands. Clarify here, Spirit. They want me to clarify this Five of Wands for Divine Feminine. You're going to get this commitment. You're learning your lessons. Look, the Hierophant with the High Priestess. You're following your intuition and you're keeping your vibe pure. You're learning your lesson about what you're battling here, okay? You are moving into the Six of Wands, okay? divine feminine so you keep doing that you keep holding this vibration because what's happening here divine masculine is realizing i don't want this nine of cups in reverse here he's getting over his fears he's working he's about to come out of the shadow he's coming out of this dark night and what is this with this karmic energy of the queen of swords yeah there's it was a faded contract right three of pentacles they had built things together and so it's a challenge right now Queen of Wands in reverse. My karmic cards are coming out. Yeah, about giving to this. So he's in a challenged position of what to give to this person monetarily. They may have to break down a foundation. Um, clarify this, please, Spirit. And this is this Seven of Wands and this, you know, he's not, pers there's no perseverance right now because there's a massive of breaking down of defenses. Clarify that. The defenses, please, Spirit. Yeah, King of Wands. That's what's going through the masculine energy right now. It, for the queen of cups for the empress so he's just getting this is what i'm seeing masculine energy is very much taking down the walls he's not persu persevering anything right now because he's dealing with whatever he he's in between places right what can he take away from this karmic to give to himself to then he could eventually give to divine feminine let's clarify here in this energy what is going on with divine masculine with this with this training spirit because he's in training this is what he has to train for um, yeah, he's, he's all over the place. Strength in reverse, okay? He, he hasn't tamed his ego yet, right? He hasn't learned how to put his hand in the lion's mouth, right? So he's still in training about how to handle this. But he's coming out of the dark night. He's hung. That's why he's hung. Hangman. With the five bits of abandonment issues with his he may be having money issues as well i'm seeing more financial issues here group number two he's struggling here with the temple the things that he's starting he's been building 
and with those queen of Pentacles. what is this queen of swords let me just clarify queen of swords this is queen of swords energy yeah nine of pentacles needing to be single here he wants to be single masculine wants to be single here uh to know what to give to divine feminine he can't give right now so he he's looking at his abandonment issues he's gained a lot of um knowledge about that we have seven of wands okay how many sevens do we have sevens in group number one and two we have no well, we have two sevens here now okay so sevens are very prominent okay they're very spiritual numbers um so this is just him you know standing his ground with this okay he's battling he is working on this he wants us with Divine Feminine, but he, he's got to get single first. He's got to figure out, he, he's got to ground his energy is what I'm seeing. So Divine Feminine Spirit is really saying to ground this, this fool energy, this new beginning and this new vibration. And so let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine with the fool. Two of Cups. Yeah, girl. Yeah, queen. Empress, you ground that energy. The, listen, if this is your twin, move on to calmer waters now. Move on to this union energy. You know this person's meant for you. This person's meant for you. Everyone can else go to hell. Like seriously, okay? If you know who your twin is, you let go of expectations and you trust God and you trust spirit. And you're like, yeah, I know. I hold love and I'm just moving on in my life and I'll let spirit take, take hold of it. There's nothing else that you need to do divine feminine, right? So you know this. You hold that vibration. How is masculine responding to this new beginning? The fool here. The hermit. In, it will pull him out of hermit mode. See? Hermit in reverse. It will pull him out of this. Do you see the synchronicities as I'm saying that? Right? I just said that he's coming out of the dark night. Clarify the emperor with this ten of pentacles. Nine of swords. His marriage is painful. Yeah. Tell me about it. When it's not aligned. It hurts, man. It hurts. Yeah. Two of swords in reverse. He sees very clearly. So this masculine is very aware of what is happening in this connection with this karmic energy. He knows he has to be single. So this energy of what I'm seeing is the masculine is very much in an analytical mode. He's out of his heart space. So if you haven't been feeling him, that's the reason. He's really analytical, planning he might still be a little deceptive, but with the karmic energy, but he's like, well, I've already been deceptive. I'm already a F up is what I'm hearing. Oh, this poor man. I feel bad for him. He's already judging himself. I've already messed up with my divine feminine, whatever. So he's kind of trying to work through those energies. He's like, well, I might as well just try and figure out how to like get out of this situation. But he's got to really be honest that he, he is getting out of his fears. I think he's going to come into an honest place with that, with the karmic, because he is also realizing where lying has made gotten him in the past three of cups. Yeah, I caused three third party. I, I don't usually read it as that, but he wants reunion. He wants to come into as a friendship. So he knows that he's got to work this out, but he is waking. He has woken up to it. He, two of swords in reverse. He's not at a crossroads of his pain with this marriage. And what is he doing to deal with it, spirit? Eight of wands. He's leaving it. He knows he has to leave it. Okay, so... This masculine is on his way out, okay, of this. Um, so he still needs to sort himself. So Divine Feminine, you just got to hold that vibe here. Um, yeah, you just got to hold this vibe because you guys are completely running in parallel. Whatever crossroads here, what is this crossroads for Divine Feminine? Don't, don't, you just, your crossroads Divine Feminine is this uh, training to move into the new vibration. Yes, you're contemplating how to become, look at this. I knew the Six of Wands was going to come up. Look at this. As I'm clarifying here, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, progression. This is the Five of Wands right here. This card right here. This is the Five of Wands. Six of Wands. You're going to be victorious. You're contemplating how to move into this energy. I can't make that up, guys. Beautiful, beautiful synchronous. That's exactly what it is. You are in training. So take that as training. It's nothing else. Spirit has to train your soul. You got to be, a, 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 you got to train. Spirit wants me to pull one more about this victory here. Okay. Four of swords. You're coming out of separation and out of the healing place to hold this new vibe. And this is pulling the masculine out, right? Out of the cave. Wow. Beautiful. That's what the, those are the energies that are coming through for group number two. Let's pull some, um, healing messages, guys, for my mirror deck. Let's see what messages are coming through for you guys. That was really beautiful. So if you want to know more about karmic energies and stuff, I do a weekly energy update. I get more into the karmic and what the karmic is feeling and all of that. So that will be tomorrow. 
So make sure you subscribe and please like guys. I didn't feel the need to clarify for these, but I'm going to actually pull some of that right now for overall energies. So just find final messages here. Spirit, why are some final messages here for group number two? That was a pretty clear cut reading, guys. Um, that was, yeah, very nice and smooth. Came through right and easy. Let's take a look. What is going on here, please, Spirit, for group number two with their union energy, their twin flame, soulmate connections? What overall energies do you want to bring through for group number two? Whoa, that's too many. <clears throat> There's one there. Is there anything else, Spirit? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this is a high-honored connection, and both of you know this. So there is an ending and a new beginning that's happening. Anything that's privileged, okay, is coming to an end, okay? Excuse me. My, oh, my, my heart is burning. This is really happening here, that this ending a new beginning between, you know, being called up, taking control of the situation. Anything that's been privileged is coming to an end, so a new beginning of a higher honor can start, okay? Let's take a look at your mirrored messages. This is my deck. We're going to read both sides. So you can see how feminine and masculine are also interconnecting with each other. This is how I created this deck. So if you see anyone else that has it, they're copying me. Because <laughs> this is all channeled from spirit. So let's take a look. What is it for messages for group number two, please, with their soulmate connection? What messages would you like for group number two? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, let me know how this resonated for you guys. Would love to hear what whoop, masculine energy right off the bat. Feminine energy. Anything else, spirit? Okay, you got four messages here. So you guys are, this is really beautiful how these came out. We have masculine energy on surrounding the divine feminine. So yeah, divine feminine. It's very balanced. You guys are thinking of each other as much as the other, okay? Masculine energy to the feminine. Please allow me space in all energies. I can't handle less in the physical nor in the telepathic etheric realms. And you know, that's what I was feeling. Like if you're not feeling the masculine, this is what's happening, right? He's really trying to sort that stuff out, okay? The feminine in response, this is the energy that's going between the two of you. This is what he's saying in the energy. And the feminine's response is saying to you, masculine in the energy, I feel so abandoned when I can't feel you. I know I'm pulling at your energy, but I'm in so much pain right now. I'm sorry. I know you need space. That's that training piece, Divine Feminine, that we saw that five of wands, right? We have to let this go to allow the masculine to do this, okay? That's why you're not feeling them right now, okay? They're in some heavy stuff. They're about to come out of it. So there's just right at that point, you know, right before you give birth is the hardest point when that baby's head comes out. <laughs> Sorry, guys, is the best way I can explain it, okay? When you birth naturally, you feel it all, right? So when that baby, boom, pop, it's like, finally, something is out of me, you know? That's what's happening. Spirit wants you to persevere. Divine Feminine to the Masculine. It's the hardest part of the labor, okay? Divine Feminine to the Masculine. I feel you denying our connection. Deep within me, we mutually meet. And the more you, ex the more you repress, the more I purge for the, our one soul. Please heal as a sacred feminine. I can't help but feel you. It's how we are created as one. So feminine, you are really learning to work to heal this piece of the telepathy. You've hit a point in your journey where you've gotten so deep that you can feel the masculine so deeply. And I know this is hard, but this is the ultimate self-love where a lot of twins give up. You have to persevere to love yourself in this place. And it's the hardest. This is where most twins do not make it. So spirit wants to bring that through. The masculine's response to feminine, I suffer as much as you do. I'm just better at hiding it. Even hiding is getting hard. So this masculine can't hide. As we see, he's already awakened. He's just in a challenged position to end that karmic cycle. Divine feminine to masculine, your piercing energy recognized my truest self when I couldn't. It illuminated the depths of my potential. I love you beyond any form of existence. <laughs> so beautiful. Divine masculine's response to the feminine, 
You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Divine Femme, if you needed to hear that, that is truly how this masculine feels about you, okay? Divine Masculine is saying, yes, the music you hear is me sending you my love. So if you've been hearing music, Divine Feminines, it is your masculine. Do not doubt the synchronicities. Keep persevering in the new vibe. You, things are shifting. You are shifting things in the energies. And Divine Feminine, in response to the masculine, I am feeling your energy in every song. So much beautiful love, you guys. Group number two, you're doing great. Keep persevering. If you want to work further with me and let, just look down below. If you please can like and subscribe and you have any questions, you can email me about working with me and I'm sending you so much love. Bye guys. Hello, group number three. If you picked my deck that I created with the cute little gnome man, I love this gnome guy. There's a guy down the street who has a gnome and a whole like little fairy castle thing. I love it. I used to take my kids there all the time when they were kids. <laughs> um, this is your reading. We're going to do an interconnection spread. If you are new, this is a spread that will show all energies. It's an ancient um, spread that you won't find anywhere else. It's very unique. So it was passed down to me when I was young. So let's take a look. This is a timeless reading. This is for the spring equinox. These are the energy. This is the first spring equinox in the age of Aquarius. So whenever you view this, this is the energy that is coming through. Even if it's like five years from now, I don't know what if that's even a thing, but if, we, <laughs> if you view it, then it's happening. This is the energies that were coming through in regards to your connection. So if you want to get more detail, make sure you hit the like and subscribe guys, because I do weekly twin flame energy updates and we get a guy do a full our reading we get into the karmic energies everything so let's take a look um you may want to also take a look at the recent zodiac ones that i just put up to for the spring equinox so let's take a look here guys what is going on with group number three in their connection i am not taking out flyouts for this first part so these are the union energies and the new vibration that is coming in for divine masculine and divine feminine the spirit is working on in your connection right now group number three let's take a look Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Cups in reverse. So there is some karmic energies that are playing out. Um, it's just how I read the cards, guys. I read more intuitively than anything. The card, my spirit, spirit talks to me through the cards, through my hands. So it's all very energetic for me. So I'm not an analytical. I am analytical, but I don't with my spirituality. I follow spirit wholeheartedly so let's take a look here yeah it's becoming a burden the karmic energies this masculine is very upset and can't um has pulled away from karmic energies okay this is all about being single and independent okay group number three i feel like you guys are really ready um <laughs> this masculine is ready to take a step but he's right on the brink of something this fantasy There was a fantasy that had to be broken, that had to come and bring in a, a state of reality here, okay? So both of you have been broken to the state of having to know what this real reality is right now so that you can become abundant separately. Both of you are currently looking at your options and how to become more of this uh, wholeness in yourself in separation. But you're no, you're done your training. You're done this fighting. So you're both at the process of just healing this right now. The masculine or karmic, both of you are dealing with karmic energies. If your masculine is dealing with it, most likely the feminine is. And if that means the feminine is just simply uh, working in her life and just integrating, uh, that's also an aspect of where masculine is also integrating but ending cycles of karma. And it's a burden. It's a frustration. But it's coming right to an end here. And that is why, whoops, this is why the masculine is blocked here in this energy. So yeah yeah these are the energies that are coming in for the spread so let's take a look at that because there's a lot of stuff happening so i'm just gonna put these back for a minute there's a lot happening here with this um energy with this karmic energy um it's really pulling at me of why this masculine has been completely emotionally detached all over the place i feel like he's going through some trauma drama right now um, through the fantasy that he's created in his head.
Divine Feminine, you're also starting to see the real darkness of your masculine as well. You're seeing, you're like, whoa, wait a minute. That's why you've also pulled back your energy and really focused on self here, Divine Feminine, because you're like, yeah, like that was a whole fantasy thing. I need to heal this stuff because this is, it's trauma drama. It's trauma drama. All right, guys, let's. Let's go a little deeper. Let's go a little deeper here. Got to make sure these are upright for the, the spread. So this is all about interdependence, becoming whole within yourself. So we're just going to move these things around here. Let's put you there, dude. Huh, this is a very interesting read. Let's see how the interconnection energies play out here because... It's almost like this masculine is ready to contact this feminine. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Like he's done with this stuff. He's right at the end of it. You may want to watch pile two. Okay, pile three. Because I, I feel like the energies are somewhat similar. Let's see what the what the cards say. Um, I'm feeling they're very similar with pile two. Let's take a look. If you guys want to know more about me all my info is down below i write a lot about my life and my story because i believe in sharing of energies i'm not into like placating people and <laughs> making people feel comfortable <laughs> i will call that that stuff out i call shit out all the time wow 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 yeah this is what i'm saying this this reading is all about the divine masculine okay I can't lift. Can I lift it? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. This divine masculine is in the center of the reed. When whoever's in the center of the reed is what's happening. So this masculine is, is battling it out here with karmic energies. That's what I was feeling. It's coming to an end with that ten of wands here. Look at this. He's connected to that ten of wands that was clarifying this, right? Just go back and look at it. This is the synchronicity stuff that happens on my channel, guys. Magic happens. I get so many syncs. So this, because I'm a clear channel. So this here spirit, this is like, is saying that this masculine center of the read is, is, is in training still with karmic energies and is coming to the end of his lessons. He's really learning. He's next coming. You can watch pile three. He's about to become victorious. He is fantasizing and dreaming about the divine feminine. He is following the feminine's lead. He is connected in his crown to the divine feminine. So feminine, whatever you're doing, you know that this has been a burden. You're about to hit a new vibration. You're both very connected. You are running tandem through. Uh, they're showing me the four of wands, union energy. You're both running through the portal si almost, simulta almost simultaneously, okay? This mass was just behind you, Divine Feminine. You guys are very close-knit. Step on step is what I'm hearing. Like, you take one step, he's got the next step. He's like right up on your back, okay? So Spirit is saying your telepathy has been very strong. So pile two, it, wa it wasn't feeling as strong because uh, you'll have to go watch it. So take what resonates from pile two. But what I'm seeing here is like feminine has pulled back and is really holding her strength. She may be all over the place a little bit because she's trying to sort out those energies. But masculine energy here, whatever he's battling, he knows that the longer that he holds out with the strength and tames his ego, it's going to be victorious for him. He's going to end this massive cycle that's happening here right now. Wow. So that's the energy, like really this interconnection spread really clarified a lot of it because he's, he's battling for this. He doesn't want this karmic energy here. This is why he's blocked in the, in the King of Cups in reverse. The energy feels very clear between the two of you. I feel if you're feeling any sadness or pull, from the masculine, what that is, is this dealing with this karmic stuff. I'm going to be honest, pile number three, you're dealing with some, I don't know who this karmic or what this karmic energy is, if it's a drug addiction, if it's a sex addiction, but there is, whew, listen, you had, a, you had a rough go of it with this karmic energy. Let's take a look at what this masculine's fighting. He He's taking the responsibility, he's fighting for this now, okay? It's been training him. Let's take a look. What's going on here, spirit? What is pile number three? Let's clarify. What is going on with pile number three, please? What is going on with pile number three? What is going on here with this masculine energy? And what is he battling out right now, spirit? What is masculine energy battling out? Six of wands in reverse. Look at this. He hasn't been victorious yet. It's on the horizon. You can watch pile number three for sure. Because... <laughs> 
what did I say? The Six of Wands came out right after for pile number, t for pile number, uh, sorry, three. You are pile number, for pile number two. You can watch pile number two because it came out an upright. It's the next step. They were about to, you're, you're about to hit there too. It's about to come. It's the next card in the deck. Five of Wands to the Six of Wands. So it's about to come victorious. This masculine feels like it feel he feels like a failure right now he's struggling right now but he's so close he's juggling and debating he's like wagering how do i do this how do i become victorious in this about ending this relationship he's ending a relationship clarify um karmic energies here with the king of cups and the queen of wands here related to the masculine in the center of the reed what is going on with this yeah slowly moving away Ending in trap and eight of swords in reverse and rejecting page of pen. He's rejecting any offer that's coming through right now. So it's it's causing a lot of issues, but it's for this energy of interdependence of the nine of pentacles. Interdependent, non, you know, no codependency, not attached to stuff. He is confused. He's dreaming. What is he dreaming about, divine masculine? What is he dreaming about, spirit? Yeah, he's challenged right now. See how this came out? Like this, this is in a challenge position. It's not upright, it's not reversal. It's in a challenge position. So that means that ending this relationship and the confusion, yet yeah, for this love, the Ace of Cups with Divine Feminine is his challenge, right? You can definitely watch pile number two, all right? Um, it's definitely causing um, a lot of confusion. He's looking at his options, 10 of Wands, connected to the, it's a huge frustration for this masculine, okay? We have two tens here. He's right at the end. He sees very clearly. So he's going to be gaining clarity if he hasn't very soon about the burdens of this. Yeah, two of wands in reverse. He's put his foot down. So he's made the decision to heal from and to. Um, and so he's already rejecting offers from this karmic energy. He's already not. He's already slowly moving on. He wants to be victorious here. What does divine masculine think of divine feminine? She's at the crown of his head spirit. So what is going on with this divine masculine towards the divine feminine? He knows it was an injustice to her. Things are being revealed to him. The high priestess in reverse. You can definitely watch my kids like so dead on, okay? Seven of cups in reverse. He's not confused about divine feminine. See, the confusion for him is how to get out of this relationship, which is a huge burden and frustration and the responsibilities that came with that. That's his issue. So this thing, these are being revealed about the injustice and how it's happened. He's going to make it right with you, divine feminine, okay? This injustice... It's killing him. So he knows he has to hold his strength, okay? He's holding his strength. That's why he's pulled back because he doesn't want to cause any more injustice to the Divine Feminine. He wants to come clean. He's he's Eight of Pentacles. He's in between focusing on you. So telepathy is picking up stronger with you guys in pile number three, though. So if you've been feeling him and, and all of this Divine Feminine and vice versa, Divine Masculine, feeling Divine Feminine, there's definitely energy that is, you know, because this focus is going between, okay, I have to plan, I gotta end this, I'm slow, he's slowly moving on, there's steps that are actually being taken, the victory is very close, okay, let's see what's going on the Divine Feminine towards the Masculine, Divine Feminine towards the Masculine, yeah, she wants to offer, so Divine Feminine, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, so this is your challenge here, and what's keeping separation as well. Both of you are keeping separation, because he's dealing with that karmic stuff. <coughs> you may be dealing with karmic stuff too, because if he is, so are you, right? It's a mirror, exact mirror, so even if that means that you're in a good place vibrationally and you're learning how to be in the new vibe that's still karmic stuff because it's a it's a new integration process to leaving the old vibe behind so spirit is saying here you want to give love to this but they want you to look at where your attachments are in regards to that okay so there is still an attachment of wanting to offer so spirit wants you to get very clear hold your strength let's see what the strength is here for divine feminine yeah, Seven of Swords, get very honest with yourself, Divine Feminine, of where you're still attaching, of why you want to give. Thank you. Spirit wants to bring up, we don't need to give to our twins. You don't ever have to give in a twin flame connection. When you give to yourself, it naturally gives to your twin. So don't even give to your twin. And that sounds, you know, like an oxymoron, you know, or hypocritical to unconscious people who are not on this journey because they're like, well, you're supposed to give to your partner. No, that's bollocks. 
um, you give to yourself when you walk away you come into enlightenment look at this divine feminine you got to hold the strength walk away from whatever is happening right now you've got to pull in this vibe of this nine of pentacles here okay it's pulling the masculine along the pull the masculine's got more of the pull that's going on here right now so if you're yeah the spirit is saying you've got to walk away to find the ninth and tenth cup here which will then bring in more of this nine of pentacles energy and bring in a massive illumination here for divine feminine okay it is a burden for divine feminine ten of wands we have the ten of wands here with the empress here clarify this for the empress towards the ten of wands yeah it's a battle see you're both dealing with this frustration five of wands that's the center of the read for the masculine so you, you still got to be in this train you got to watch pile two all right you got to be in this training right now as it is that's why this new beginning the fool in reverse is not getting quite started right yet so it is divine feminine this energy that's coming in i'm going to clarify this nine of pentacles clarify this nine of pentacles for divine feminine yeah, it's, it's, you got, you're in balance right now. You have a little bit of impatience and I get that. Listen, <sighs> spirit really wants you to start focus on what's making you happy in your life and really start putting that towards yourself. If that's getting back into working out, give to yourself page of cups. Okay. If, if you need to work out, get healthier, uh, listen, this, these sacred union partnerships, you got to be like on the ball here, guys. That means you got to heal mental patterns, physical patterns, emotional patterns, life patterns, financial problem, like every single thing to come into sacred union. Okay. So spirit is really guiding both of you to go through this journey of that five of wands. Okay. Let's clarify the four of swords here because that's what's it's keeping separation here four of cups is the complacency of wanting to give to each other so both of you want to give to each other but you know that when you want to give to each other it creates you know um a sense of feel that i want to give but they're not talking to me and it creates immediately an attachment spirit doesn't want you to be in a place of attachment here okay spirit wants you to be in a place of interdependence this masculine is blocked to this to this karmic energy, but there's something about that that's playing out in this connection. Hold on, because it's affecting divine feminine. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So with the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, so look at what came up here. This masculine is, is blocked emotionally to this karmic energy. That's fine, because he's ready to move forward slowly and end entrapment, but... Things are still somewhat in this in-between place of moving forward and communicating and between a halt status, okay? Things have halted. And that's because there's still a lot of drama coming through. It's still really rough waters. You're in the middle of a, of a rough patch still. But Spirit is saying the equinox is bringing in this new vibration to walk as Divine Feminine walks, walk into the high vibe of your purest happiness and really keep focusing on yourself. Three of Wands, right? Um planning for your future okay it's not waiting it's to manifest your future divine feminine look ahead to the horizons create the vibration in your life divine feminine that's that's the place to do that and then the masculine won't be so confused in this connection and he'll just get out of this dreaming state clarify the seven of cups because he's in a dream state with divine feminine right now and the spirit wants it to be reality not just um yeah it's keeping him blocked pay look King of Swords in reverse with the Page of Swords in reverse. He's blocked from communicating or being aligned in his head and his heart in order to move forward. So Spirit is really bringing that through. That, that But he wants his Ace of Cups. And he's juggling and trying to end a relationship. So he he's aware. So it's the next state of ammo to push this forward. Let's do a little bit more clarification. What else, Spirit, do you have for group number three? But it's beautiful energy, though, guys. Because that means that you're coming to into victory. Like the victory is coming. Okay. Like the next step, the next one is the six of wands, right? So that's the advice here of moving into this new vibe for group number three is uh, for divine feminine. Thank you. Spirit is saying, yes, you've done a lot of work. This is fine tuning. Okay. All right, guys. This is group number three, please, Spirit. What is going on with group number three? Any final messages here? And then we're going to pull some mirrored messages decks for my deck that I created. What is going on with group number three, please? Thank you, Spirit. What final messages do you have here for group number three? Wow. 
you guys are so close. Like I can taste it. So Spirit is saying by, yeah, uh, in the next few months, you'll start to see it. There may be some like messages about concern about inner child. I'm going to clarify that child. Yeah, messages of concern about children and a mature woman. Just give me a sec because I'm feeling that's more inner child. If there are children involved, that's that could be the hold up too in this uh, situation. But this is, I'm feeling innocence here. Clarify the child. Yeah. This is about unexpected and what needs to be paid off. It could be children in this situation, but it's also a surprise community and the mature woman. So this person, yeah, imprisonment. The, this is still about being trapped in a certain situation, not being able to give. There may be um, to the mature woman, but that's the divine feminine. And so there's a lot of concerns happening in this masculine's life. Uh, there could be unexpected income that he has to give to a child or child support or a home or there's a lot of concerns happening there. And it's also part of, if it's not about children, it's about the innocence of reclaiming that and becoming aware of that. Um, Spirit is saying with this Equinox energy, they don't want Divine Feminine to be trapped in this. So this is where you got to move into the new vibe. And it's integrating that self-love that you've worked on for yourself. It's not necessarily more loving yourself. It's how can I put that into action now? How can I actually do this and change my life? I've learned the lessons. I'm learning lessons of self-love. But how can I do that? Do I need to set my alarm at 5 in the morning and go work out? Like, do I need to actually action? And you know where those actions are. You guys are aware enough. You know where those actions are, okay? Let's get some messages here. Spirit is saying it's time to integrate. I hear that too because I used to put off like all kinds of stuff, you know? And then Spirit's like, okay, Rena, it's been like months. You know you need to do it. And I'm like, okay, I know, I know. But you can't action those things until you're really ready. So if you're watching, this is just a sign that it's time, okay? You guys know what that is. Let's see what married messages. This is from my deck that I've created. It's uh, when I read one side, the other counterpart will respond. So you can see what's happening telepathically in the energies. I should call it a telepathic deck, but maybe I'll make another one like that. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What is going on here for pile number three? If you like this reading, guys, hit the like button and the subscribe. Comment down below if you want to work with me. All that info is down below. And if you need, have any questions about my services, what that entails, please send me an email. All right. What is going on for pile number three, please? What is going on for pile number three? Wow. The masculine is, is here. Okay. Really wanting to talk. I felt it's just three. Is there one more spirit? Yeah, there is one more. <laughs> Masculine is really wanting to talk. So the masculine is thinking more of the feminine. All right. So spirit doesn't want you to get too obsessed with that either divine feminine. Okay. But if you are feeling it, honor it and allow it to be what it is. Masculine is saying to the feminine, it's taking me a long time to sort out the energies that came from our activation. So that's why he's still in that in-between stage. Response from divine feminine our activation changed so much inside of me and in my exterior world. I didn't realize how powerful this was until now. Okay. Divine masculine to the divine feminine. I knew you instantly and have thought of you every day since. Divine feminine. I felt a completely different energy with you that I still can't place. You never leave my heart and mind. See, you guys are so connected. Divine feminine to the masculine. Yes, I'm creeping you on social media, so that's your validation. Divine Feminine, you're doing that. And Divine Masculine is doing it to you too. Yes, I'm looking at your social media. So definitely stalking one another. Divine Masculine to the Feminine, we both rejected each other on some level. Tough love is sometimes the only way we learn, okay? Masculine's aware of that. Divine Feminine's response, I know that we both hurt one another because we were hurting ourselves deeply in our subconscious. Wow, there's a deep understanding here, guys. Sit and meditate on those messages. They're really beautiful. You guys are moving into a new vibration. Keep going. All right, Divine Feminine, I know it can be hard. We do birth the new vibration, but just know that you're strong and you were made for this journey. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.
Hello, my beautiful group number four. Last but most certainly not least, you picked my favorite deck, which is the Shaman Tarot and the Ayahuasca Necklace. So let's get started with your reading. If you are new, this is a completely different way of reading. It's an interconnection spread. We're gonna see what's going on in your connection right now and what energies are coming through with the Age of Aquarius with this spring equinox, which was yesterday. But these energies, um, just keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. So whenever you are viewing this, this is the energies with our very first spring equinox in the Age of Aquarius what these energies have brought through for you whenever you are viewing this even if it is a year later let's take a look and see what is going on in your connection group number four don't forget to like subscribe take a look at my services you can email me for anything and yeah let's take a look so there's been 10 10 closing out of cycles here between the two of you, okay? So we've got two tens coming out, betrayal, but with the ten of cups. It's almost like you are in, come. you guys are a little bit of extreme, not extremist, but it's like you both need to go from one, one place of energy to another to know the complete opposite. And we all do that on certain frequency aspects. Some people do it in very small increments. Some people do it in big increments. I'm seeing you guys learn very quickly in group number four. So Spirit is saying that you had to have massive betrayal to know massive awakening. I hate to say it, I work that way too. It's like I need extreme stuff only because of my traumas in order to know my truth and my power. So you guys are very similar in this energy. So you're ending betrayals, both of y'all are ending betrayals. Divine Feminine is here and sitting here, okay, being abundant and looking at what codependency patterns are playing out in this connection. So, wow. Do you see the major arcanas that just came out here? We have the world, the judgment in reverse. Sorry, the world. Why am I saying the world? <laughs> the lovers, the judgment in reverse, and the high priestess. So things are being revealed, and any doubts of this love are being abolished right now. And this uh, this union ended. Um not really didn't really like end the union you can't end a twin flame union or high sake who god brings together you can't end that people can try but i love when karma works in your favor so <laughs> it's just not a thing with real twins um what's happening here is spirit is really bringing up that this betrayal had to end this in order to bring in this this 10th cup for both of you. And even though you're both were doubting it, you're both realizing that you are each other's 10th cup. This feminine is still in pain here because there's certain revelations. She's still working through some of her pain, okay? But this is not necessarily pain from the, from the betrayal. What I'm getting is like uh, getting very clear of to keep uh, what how she needs to keep her vibration pure okay and things are being revealed of where there's more codependency and what she's having this could be an overgiver this feminine is a queen of pentacles she's very nurturing she's very grounded but like you know um our earth is seeing the same issues where people take her resources and don't honor the mother energy right they they don't care that they get their food from farmed factory places or you know, and, and the mother energy, and I'm not saying that in a rude way, guys, I'm just using it as an example. Um, there has to be a high respect here, and this feminine is declaring that for herself. So she's getting very clear in where her attachments are as well. Masculine is doing the same thing, but I feel it's more of this betrayal stuff, and that's how they're mirroring. So yeah, we're gonna take the top cards from the top. These are gonna be in this spread. These are the overall energy. So let's see what is actually happening in this connection between the two here. Okay, I'm gonna put these here. Yeah, masculine, feminine. Yeah, let's take a look here. Let's get a little deeper because I feel that there isn't a touch. There's still a little codependency that's happening, but you're working through the pain process to see you know, you have to kind of go through trials and tribulations with your pain. It's an up and down process. It's not an easy process. So what's happening here for, um, yeah, what's happening here is that it's really um, showing both parties where that attachment is. Let's take a look here. 
going to see where these energies are interconnecting here. So again, you won't find this anywhere. It's one of my favorites because it does work with all directions and it shows where the connection. Wow, yeah. Okay, so it's clearly showing where Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are currently in separation here. We have Divine Feminine, and here we have Divine Masculine. They're not seeing eye to eye. They're not in the same direction. They're both working on different things. But the energy that's connecting them is this judgment card, is a renewal, is a reconciliation, is to come together to make a decision to end this pain. Now, this pain, this Nine of Swords, is where the Divine Feminine is in right now, where she's still working through some of that attached energy. She can't really have a lot of people in her life, or she overgives. I'm getting this from this Divine Feminine. You're such a giver, Divine Feminine, and it's hard for you not to give, and people take advantage of you, is what I'm getting. And so Spirit is saying, this had to end so that you could really see where these attachments were masculine had to go through the betraying you also so that he could see where his codependent energy was either he's in pain also um the pain is running parallel to both of you but the renewal of this pain for him was what he was hiding okay he wants to reveal sorry feminine wants to reveal herself and masculine was hiding something and so that's where his pain came from was from hiding and feminine may have been over giving and over revealing here and it caused that's the pattern that's healing right this is the final pattern that you guys are working on because you both want union you both want reconciliation um and what i'm getting here is this masculine um ended it even though this feminine was trying to you know give and and be open and all of this it created um you know this pain energy this worry energy and create and, and it and not just feminine it's also masculine okay that created some type of um closed off energy that ended this okay but we're going to clarify because things are you're both running parallel you both are what i'm getting here is double mission i don't usually get that guys some twin flames have one mission together but other twins what i'm noticing like for instance my twin and i have double mission because we're such high potent shamans. Um, and what double mission means is that both of you are very um, stable and building um, missions separately, but the collaboration when you come together will become so much potent with both your missions together, with both your ex uh, different businesses or your different talents or whatever that is, not just for one mission, but for two missions. You guys are that powerful that you can actually do a double mission. That's what I'm getting, okay? That means that whatever Divine Feminine is going to be the boss in her own domain and Masculine will be too. And not that other twins can't do that, okay? But this is... Um, this is a little different this is a, a true power couple is what i'm getting here so this is why it's taken this separation may have been going a long time for you guys okay that's really what i'm getting because this power this 10 10 had to come about here for both of you to realize what this these attachments were let's clarify a little bit further because that's really i need a sip of water because that's really what i'm getting um you guys are yeah, let's clarify this pain in the middle here because I'm really seeing you guys uh, working on different things and it may feel that you're on different paths. Truly, you may feel like you're both on completely different paths. The spirit is saying that's just the 3D stuff. You guys are very much opposites of each other in the physical world. Okay, one may be short, one may be a little overweight, one may be um, a different race, different culture, speak different languages on the other side of the world from each other. There's something very significantly, you know, this is not really, uh, yeah, Spirit is saying the opposite aspect is because um, you both are, yeah, thank you, Spirit is saying this group is like one is very feminine and one is very masculine. Everyone runs very differently. If you look at the Kinsey scale of uh, sexual, sexual fluidity, because um, I'm very sexually fluid in myself and gender fluid in myself as well. Not Actually, I shouldn't say I'm very feminine, but gender fluid in the way of how society thinks anyways. <laughs> I'm an attraction. But Spirit is bringing this up for a reason because 
um, you know, some twins sit very much in the androgynous place in the middle of the Kinsey scale where you guys are more on one ends of the, of that scale. So you may want to look that up. That may help some of you in your connection, especially if you're in a same sex connection. So spirit is saying that this is, um, really about one's very feminine and one's very masculine. Okay. So it's almost like a polar opposite is what I'm hearing. Let's clarify here. Spirit wants me to cut the deck. Let's see what's going on with this pain. This Nine of Swords, um, the pain of being in separation is what's pushing these two to be together. You guys uh, had to go to the extreme of pain and suffering to push yourselves into this, okay? It's been a very long journey for both of you. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So that pain is ending a commitment, ending family patterns, okay? And that's for both of you, Spirit is saying. I was going to clarify Divine Feminine Spirit saying that's for both. We have Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You can't wait anymore. It's caused a lot of um, instability here. Instability, this this connection. Um, not this connection, the pain. The pain has, has done that. I want to see with the judgment on top of that pain and this reconciliation between the two. Wow, it created abandonment and conflict. Five of Swords. And because of that, it didn't get started, this new beginning. And so how is Feminine feeling about that Nine of Swords with this renewal with Divine Masculine? She's having a little bit of doubt. She's not sure if it's going to happen in this life. Three of Swords in reverse. She's ending her pain. It's, it's pretty much coming to the end here of her pain. About the karmic energy, the Queen of Wands in reverse. And the fantasy of it. She knew that this karmic situation that the masculine went into was just an illusion. She completely already knew that. And she's over the pain of it all, but she's having some doubt. Why is she having doubt here, Spirit? She wants the renewal. She's open to it, but she's not holding her breath here. Five of Wands. She's still working through, again, some of these attached stuff. So let's clarify this because I'm really feeling this here. Divine Feminine, um, Spirit is asking you to clear a little bit more of your codependency and your and your attachments it's blocking real love ace of cups could be addictions could be other things um you gotta on this journey you guys you gotta be like you know what am i eating what are my finances you gotta be every single thing on this journey right to seal up um two of wands yeah she's looking at how to move forward in her life independently ten of wands in reverse yeah She's clearing the last little bit of burdens to rise into her divine feminine energy. So it's not massive stuff that you're doing. It's almost like, okay, spirit is like, you know, you have to wake up and work out today. And then what do you do? You keep hitting, hitting the, the re the, the snooze button. You know what I mean? And spirit's like, okay. And you're like, I'll do it next week. I'll do it next week. That, that's what spirit's saying. So spirit's like, it's just that last little bit divine feminine. Like I know, and that's what's stalling it. Okay. Um, let's see divine masculine towards this energy of this pain and this renewal. What is going on with divine masculine? He wants this union lovers. Look at that. He's ready. I feel this masculine is ready. The challenge is ending cycles. Okay. So he's still having a challenge of ending certain cycles with what? before he can cut two of swords okay so he's contemplating so you guys are completely marrying each other okay he wants to come towards divine feminine emotionally but he's also at a crossroads and juggling about ending a cycle in his life life he's stuck right now about a missed opportunity with this with the divine feminine with the star card so he wants to move towards her but he's missed opportunities that's what i feel the separation may have been happening for quite a long time and he's not sure let's clarify with the mask and with the lovers in reverse that he ended this this relationship it's affected him greatly strength in reverse and he's not having the courage to come towards her so this uncertainty spirit is really bringing through this pattern here for group number four where the final healing needs to happen so both of you can activate and move into a union energy we have ace of wands it's procrastinating and delay okay so whatever feminine is still somewhat attached to and heals that is going to pull masculine up because that's what feminines do. We birth the new vibration. So masculine can step in to manifest the new abundant. Once masculine step in and union happens, feminines can kind of take a break a little bit because she's been doing the brunt work for a long time. Okay. Not, not just this lifetime, right? Right? My queens, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so it will pull him, but he's also juggling of ending cycles too. 
because of the betrayal. He feels really bad about this. His ego is all over the place. Yeah, he's in pain too. Nine of Swords is confirming that of what he did to the feminine. So he still has some self-forgiveness to do. Feminines, you still have some attached patterns to look at to before this can move forward, okay? Masculine wants to reveal himself to the Divine Feminine with the High Priestess. He wants to reveal that this is fated. So this Masculine knows that this is fated and the wheel is turning. And he wants to reveal and say that he wants to marry her. He's learned his lessons. He wants commitment. So this Masculine, the final thing for Masculine is to come towards Divine Feminine and to gain his courage. That's it. That's why it's just a little piece. As I looked at the clock, I thought it said 11-11. But it's just a little piece of that... Um, just a little piece so divine feminine let's take a look here with the high priestess that you're still there's still something hidden here that you're that's a ta an attachment you've got to look at this the devil with the justice okay this has to the karmic justice has to come from divine feminine this connection here just a little bit of attachment of what's happening i feel it has to do with your diet and i feel it has to do with your temple i feel it may have to be putting money into savings and just make that checking account and do that it's just like a one action thing, Divine Feminine. I'm really feeling that. Like, just do it. Just do it and put it into your routine. If that means meditating every day, just to claim that vibe, you got to just do it. I feel it's just that simple for this to come into union. You're so close. I can taste it. Okay. So whatever this obsession or toxicity, it's like, just put it to an end. Hermit in reverse. So things can open up. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm seeing it might be meditation in the morning. It might be prayer in the morning. It might be taking a jog in the morning. It might be um, at cutting off a certain person that you know that you've been needing to do that with. Or it might be setting a final boundary with like a sibling or something. I'm just getting different scenarios. But whatever it is, Divine Feminine, that's what it is. I'm going to clarify these, the ten tens here between the connection. What is this, Spirit? The chariot. See, it's stalling. There's one final, you're right, it's like right there, guys. The 10, the betrayal with the with the union, with the 10 of cups. It's like, it's halted right now because it's just one final thing. One final thing to clear out of the energy. Don't let it pull you, both of you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Look, before full illumination. I can't make that up. You like these synchronicities? Hit subscribe. Things like this happen all the time because I work with alchemy and white magic and planet earth and i'm very connected to mother um that's why i work with ayahuasca and stuff but this is yeah this and spirit is saying this is the illumination it's going to happen here okay so you got to work on this focus on this both of y'all okay um masculine let's see final message what what is masculine for masculine messages here for masculine here yeah he wants to work and build and, but he's still healing. So he's got some final healing to do. And feminine, four of swords, right? Is like, yeah, wanting to return because things have failed. And not feeling good enough. It might be not feeling good enough to find feminine. About what's happened with this betrayal, the seven of swords. So it's like a little piece of forgiveness left. A piece of action of self-love has to come into this divine feminine because there's something that's happening here to bring it into union. Just give me one more message here, Spirit. What's going to bring this into union? Nine of wands. Of course, persevere. Persevere. You're just at the end of this cycle. I can see you guys coming into union this year. I'm being honest, okay? It's like... It's it, it's the suppression of the truth, okay? To be so altruistically honest so that the masculine energy can ground that energy into the earth, okay? So, yeah. Let's let's pull some uh, Kipper and see what else. Some final messages here. You're very close, group number four. Like, super close, okay? It's just keep persevering. Keep going with it. Spirit's bringing through um, very strong energies for you to ground okay so whatever last attack you guys know what that is you guys let me know in the comments because i i know like it's for me it's like getting staying on a very regular routine in my life with my kids like i know that um i have i'm responsible for everything in my life <laughs> i have no support i get no child support i get no support from their i get nothing so i have to keep a very kilter routine in my life or i get off track and everything goes to hell like i'm it's just done for 
And so I know that I'm balancing that last. So that's me. So Spirit's bringing, asking me to share that with you so you can really look at where that final little piece, you know, like that little piece. All right. What is going on here, Spirit, for group number four, the energies that are coming in. And Spirit is like, once that happens, you're going to see it. Boom, 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 boom. Everything is going to just unfold. I promise you. I really feel that. What is going on here, Spirit, with group number four? What is going on here with group number four? Thank you. What is going on here for pile number four? Any other messages for the masculine and feminine energy spirit for group number four? Well, you guys are getting a lot. Wow. Okay. <laughs> family. Could be about family. Okay. Wow. There's a change. This main masculine is creating the change here. Um, what I'm seeing is, is here to work on your hobbies, work on yourself, to put an end to this lack mentality here to bring a family together, okay? You may be having to build a family with your masculine or to build a new foundation together to come close. Family is also about where people gather. You come into your living room to gather and to share and to come together. So this is also about a coming together energy. And this is and this is the progress. Masculine is changing, wanting to work on things and uh, you know, poverty consciousness, lack a loss that has happened that is forming endings and new beginnings to in order to come together. So that's really that's really what's happening here with this connection, okay? And it's not just masculine, it's feminine too, but this change I just need to clarify. This is a whew, this is a high honored connection here. This masculine knows that for a courtship to come. That's the change that's coming, guys. I can't make that up, okay? Wow. You got to comment down below, guys. Let me know how that resonated with you. Let's take a look at the mirrored messages. This is my own deck. We're going to see where masculine energy is and where feminine energy is at. Oops. Back. Let's take a look. What is going on with masculine and feminine energies? Mirrored messages. We're going to see what the masculine is saying and the feminine, and we'll see the corresponding responses on the reverse side of your divine counterpart. They're not for sale yet, but they will be. All right, Spirit, what mirrored messages do you have for group number four? If you like this reading, guys, don't forget to like right now. It really helps my channel to grow and subscribe if you'd like to follow me. That would be great. I appreciate it. All right, what is going on? Wow, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine's creeping on you. So Divine Feminine is thinking of the masculine more than the masculine is thinking of the feminine right now. And that could be why Spirit brought through that message about is this masculine's ready? Okay, this masculine is ready for you to end this one final thing. Whatever it is, it's your. If you needed a. If you need a feminine assigned to end something, this is it. If it was to to cut dairy out of your diet, do it. Okay. If this was to move house, do it. If this was to cut that friend out, do it. Okay. Spirit is saying here, and you'll know what that is, so please follow with your own gut intuition, okay? Spirit is saying here, Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine's message to the masculine, I am doing my best to move on. Your presence is everywhere, and I feel you pulling at me. Please stop. <laughs> so Feminine, this is what may be keeping you there, is like to see where this energy is at so that you can be like, okay, I need to like stop the telepathy. I need to like just move forward, keep moving. You're close, you're close, okay? Divine Masculine is saying, I'm dealing with massive amounts of karma right now. So this is where he was challenged. He's still ending cycles, okay? You guys are just like right there. I can taste it. Masculine is saying, yes, I'm looking at your social media. He is, and so are you. Divine Feminine, yes, I'm creeping your social media. So you're both doing the same thing. Everybody does it. I don't know who doesn't do it. People say they don't do that. I call bull, especially when you're locked down. There's nothing else to do on this planet right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pretty sure everyone does it. Okay, Divine Feminine. It worries me that I can't feel you. I'm starting to learn to take care of myself in these deep places of abandonment. So Divine Feminine isn't feeling the masculine as prominently as she was. But that's also a sign that energy is emerging when you're just at peace with yourself and doing your work. So spirit is also saying divine feminine, let go because that's also another sign. They're telling me to tell you who's ever watching pile four, that's a sign of energies merging. You don't feel the pull anymore. It's a sign of peace. 
So Spirit wants you to recognize that and keep moving forward and have faith, okay? Divine Masculine is a response. You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. Oh, so beautiful. Divine Feminine to the Masculine. I knew your head wasn't in a good place when we met and I thought I could help you. I soon realized I had to heal myself and you had to heal yourself. I had to end the pattern of fixing other people and putting myself last. Wow, Divine Feminine. So this is the energy spirit is saying to keep moving forward with, okay? And Masculine is saying to the Feminine, could you tell where my head was at when you found me? And he knows that ma the masculine knows that's why he wants to move forward and come forward as well okay you guys are mirroring very closely and the more that you mirror and come and heal yourself the more that mirror comes into alignment all right i'm sending you so much love please like share comment and um yeah i'm just sending you so much love happy equinox bye guys